Hi there, it's Moira McDonald and we are about to embark on my first ever junk journal with me. Um, it could quite possibly be my last junk journal with me, depending on how it goes. Because uh, I've never done this before. I've never kept a diary, never maintained a journal of any sort. Don't really know what I'm doing. Having said that, I had a look at I watched, sat down yesterday to watch some videos on a uh, journal with me, not so much junk journal with me, but journal with me, um, and I seem to get trapped in some sort of Korean universe uh, where people really like stickers, and that's fine, because I quite like stickers myself, uh, but some folks seem to be really obsessed with stickers, to the point where there wasn't really a great deal of writing. Um, but there was an awful lot of stickers, so I don't envisage my journaling being quite like that, although having said that, it might be, uh, if I feel I've not got anything to say, and I don't really have a lot to say in the main. Um, yesterday I did something, and in that respect I suppose it makes it marginally easier for me. Um, I'll show you first of all, if you follow me in the my wee Facebook, it's not a group, it's a page I suppose, um, by Gonzera and also on Instagram where I'm, I think I'm Moira underscore bygones. Um, I had put up the, the basic book, if you like, and what I've done is I've decided to do it kind of like a, a traveller's notebook type idea, you know, with the outside elastic and booklet that I can take out because I just thought it would be so much easier for actually writing in. Especially since once I've put it together, I thought this is going to be an absolute devil to try and write in uh, because it's going to be sticking up and whatever. So I've decorated the outside of the, the cover with a couple of doilies and a wee bit of lace here and then my my favourite wee stamp and uh, envelope die uh, that I've just stuck down there. And then I did a wee quite a small wee book. I've not put any pockets around there, I've not done any decorating really. Um, just a wee book that I put together and that's going to be my wee journal. Um, so I think today I might actually manage to do, I don't know, because uh, a, a couple of things I want to put in it. So I might actually be able to do a couple of uh, pages. We'll see how it goes. Um, my plan originally when I thought about doing this was that I was going to discuss uh, my depression and anxiety and use the journal in relation to that and that may ultimately be how it will pan out. Um, it just so happened that yesterday I actually did a couple of things that were quite out of the ordinary for me. I live, I'll be honest, I do live in a, a very, very mundane life. I don't do an awful lot from day to day that's different. Everything tends to be very, very routine. Um, however, yesterday we visited my uh, sister-in-law because her daughter was back from New Zealand. So we had that. Uh, plus last night we went out. My brother's birthday was during last week but my son is currently working in Edinburgh which meant that we couldn't go out for dinner during the week so we went out for dinner last night. So there was a couple of things that we did. Um, so in that respect uh, I think my first couple of pages will relate to that and then you know, it'll be fairly clear that there's not a lot happening in my life um, and we'll see how it goes for there. Um, just what happened this morning, I got a couple of wee, uh, well I got some wee stickers, vellum stickers from AliExpress that I'd ordered and all the writing's in Chinese so I can't tell you anything about them apart from the fact that they appear to have dates on them 2017, so they're obviously something they've been selling for a while. Some wee stamps, that one looks like a wee postage, a little wee postcard or something. Uh, and these are just wee kind of flowers and things and wee leaves. Uh, but, you know, I figured, I think the problem recently, and the whole reason why I've decided to do this at the moment, as opposed to actually making a journal with a view to selling it, is I'm sure if you're following uh, most junk journal videos that are floating about, you'll be only too well aware that the issue of uh, 
copywritten stamps in particular has cropped up and because of that it's kind of put a bit of a downer certainly on me I think it's put a downer on a lot of people um, and it's it, it, in many respects it, it shouldn't really impact me terribly much in as far as the majority of stamps that I use I have checked the angel policies in relation to the companies involved and as far as I can see I'm absolutely fine to make continue making as I do um, and selling as I do because I don't exactly I'm not I'm not a prolific journal maker I may I'm, if you're lucky I maybe make two journals a month possibly three if I've got a good month um, but I'm you know I'm not churning them out I'm not one of these people that will sit and say and these eight will be for sale at 9 p.m central time and all this kind of stuff I, I don't work like that um, I just I literally if I'm making something I'm making it purely for my pleasure in as far as it's something I want to do and once I've made it since it's not necessarily something I want to keep I try to sell it uh, I don't look for big bucks for anything I sell uh, because as far as I'm concerned it's really just a hobby on my part and um, if it's a hobby that can self-finance excellent uh, it never has, let's be honest, but if you're a crafter you'll know there's absolutely no way you're making money for this unless you do get into the kind of mega followers, mega bucks sort of thing. Um, if you're just Joe Average you're, you're not going to coin it in, you're not breaking it in in any way and that that's fair enough, That's I'm not looking to be... Um, I am not the Donald Trump of the journal world, let me put it like that. I'm not the Donald Trump of any world, right? Um, so anyway, it, it, saying it shouldn't put me off, it, it still has because I think it's just it's left a it's left an atmosphere within the junk journaling community that is going to be quite difficult to get over. Um, don't get me wrong, this this ha I, I, having been a card maker for years, this is something that crops up every two or three years something really stupid happens and suddenly everybody becomes paranoid about what they're doing um, and because of that paranoia that sets in with a oh no I'm going to get caught for doing something that I shouldn't be um, folk just they, they just don't feel happy and they don't uh, create as they did so anyway, now that that's out the way, well it's not really because it's going to be a recurring theme I think. I watched um, I watched a couple of Artie Mazes uh, videos over the past couple of days and I, I, I didn't, at the point when I'm watching I tend to watch things, I watch YouTube on TV and you can't really comment on TV unless you suddenly go back in and link your phone to the TV <coughs> to, be, to make a comment, so I'm not commented on them. Um, but I watched her and I felt, I really did feel heart sorry for the lassie because she was talking about um, the fact that some of her work has uh, effectively appeared in AliExpress and been marketed in paper pads and that folk have unknowingly purchased them and been selling them on Etsy um, to just, you know, to make, that's a washing machine, right? To make a few bob, which is fair enough. Um, but uh, when she happened to mention this, and she didn't do it in any malicious fashion whatsoever because she appreciates that you don't know everything when you're purchasing stuff um, and anybody can make mistakes and she wasn't getting down in MD and then she had to make a second video because obviously somebody had picked on her about this um, and I thought, you know, you say things in the best of faith and somebody misinterprets and that misinterpretation then becomes your entire focus and it shouldn't be um, because they have gone off on the tangent, not you, uh, but you're left to kind of get the fallout from it and it's it, it can be really anxiety ra raising. So I've got a feeling listening to Andrea who's at um, I mean I don't, I don't know her personally, I've, I think I've, I've had a couple of passing comments on YouTube or on Facebook or whatever um, but that's that's as much as we know about each other it's not as if we're best buds or anything um, but really when I was listening to her yesterday I, I thought you know you you sound as if you're coming from pretty much the same place as I am on this um, 
and you've been misinterpreted and when somebody misinterprets you take it personally because you the last thing you want is for anybody to think you're getting at them or being unpleasant towards them um, and before you know it you're the one that feels worse about everything um, and I th again I think that's all part of uh, a, a level of anxiety and depression um, that exists within many of us um, how you deal with that is uh, who knows we're, we're doing this journey together and we'll, we'll maybe find out anyway I've, kind of, I've completely gone off the, the tack here the whole thing about this conversation was that what I was trying to get at is I have decided to make a junk journal for me to discuss how I feel uh, because at this stage in the game I do not feel like trying to make a journal to sell so anyway let's get to the bit um, yesterday did a couple of things out of the ordinary for me and that was quite interesting uh, it was um, visit I, I must I mean I've, I've been married for what uh, will be 26 years this November um, so it's not as if you know meet me in-laws it's the first time or anything like that but I, I was saying to, to my husband Billy this morning you know the funny thing is see when I go into uh, that kind of environment we it's it's not just your immediate in-laws obviously because there's a lot of other different family and friends there and I just don't perform well in groups I find it um, I find it really difficult to get involved in conversations unless it's somebody I know really really well and I it just so happened that when I went in because you're doing it in a house there wasn't a, it's you know houses here aren't massive um, and I kind of get stuck in a corner uh, next to a wee girl who is I think my husband's nephew's daughter I don't know because I'm, at no point did anybody introduce me and the last time I saw this child she was a baby in arms but this was a wee girl maybe about four um, so I was stuck next to this child um, and then our, our father was just opposite me who was having a conversation with another man um, and it was a conversation about things that I knew nothing about so I didn't want to interject um, and I just I just felt like an absolute complete and utter spare part in this out of this family gathering um, and I mean, we weren't there long, uh, not intentionally, it just so happened that my son was coming back from Edinburgh and we had organised to go in to meet him in town to pick him up to bring him home to our house. So we, we probably were only there about an hour or whatever, uh, but you know that way it's an hour and it felt a lot longer, uh, which was a bit unfortunate really because I, I don't think it was intended to, to you know, it wasn't, it wasn't intended as a day out to torment me, it just so happened that I found it quite difficult to deal with. Uh, so anyway, so that that happened. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's nice to see people um, and to have the passing hellos because again, I, I wasn't even sitting close enough to anybody. Uh, I happened to run into my mother-in-law as she was going into the toilet and I was coming out um, because she'd been sitting away at the other side of the room and I couldn't really easily get over to her. Um, she's not looking great. Uh, she'll. My father-in-law died not that long ago and you can tell that it's clearly having a, you know, the, the impact is, is still being felt when you, you look at my mother-in-law. Um, and I, I mean, there's, there's, there's not much you can say or do, but the funny thing is, she kept saying to me, are you alright? Um, and she's, she's quite obsessed because she knows I lost a lot of weight uh, over the past few years. I mean, I've been static for the past year. Uh, but I've lost something like four stone in weight uh, because I had to. Um, I had health issues and one of the doctors that had seen me uh, was saying, you know, this this is an issue in women because they carry excess weight. If you if you lost a bit of weight, it might help. So I went on a diet. Uh, all you need to tell me is, are you dying? And that's it. I can, I can do anything you want. Uh, so I went on a diet and I lost four stone in weight. But folk, because they knew me when I was fat, tend to look at you and think, oh, you look like death, oh, you look terrible, oh, are you okay? And I don't, I mean, I look perfectly healthy. If you only ever knew me at this weight, you would think I was fine. In fact, you would probably think, she'd be a bit porky. Um, because, obviously, I still, you know, you might lose weight, but you're still kind of flabby because you never tone up, especially as you get older. 
So anyway, she was quite obsessed with the, I think you're losing too much weight and I'm not, because I'm not trying to lose any weight, in fact if anything I have put on a couple of pounds but that's beside the point. So anyway, saw her, uh, we left, picked up the boy, came back uh, and went out last night for our dinner which was very nice. Um, so anyway, let's get into the journal. Uh, I noticed that what, usually obviously when I'm selling a journal I'll have it all decorated before it goes but that, oops, wait a minute, dropped some tape on the floor. Uh, that's not happening here because obviously I'm starting fresh. Um, I'm, I realise when I watch folk that quite often what they say is they find it quite intimidating to just start with a blank page. So they like to do a measure of pre-decoration and then write round about it. So um, I have organised some wee bits and bobs that I thought I would use to stick on and stick down. And like I say, I got uh, some stickers today, which are smaller stickers than what I've got in my desk. Excuse me, so they might be quite useful, uh, since it's not exactly the biggest book in the world. Right, I'll do a wee bit of stamping, I think, first of all. And I've got... Get some ink. So I've got two wee ink cubes that I'm going to be using. Uh, Olympia Green, Versafine and... Vintage Sepia Versafine. Quite like Versafine because if you do any, it's water resistant so if you do any colouring, and I won't be colouring I don't think, but if you do any colouring um, these are quite good for uh, you know, not smudging all over the place. So let's see how this works out. And what I'd like to do is I'll stamp up the top and I'll stamp in the opposite corner and then we'll work we'll put on some stickers and work round about it. I don't really have a lot of room for uh, storing wooden stamps. Um, I really, generally speaking, prefer to use uh, the thingy stamps, photopolymer clear stamps with a block. Uh, but having said that, these are they sell quite a lot of these in China, um, and I think I watch a lot of the the lassies who are clearly quite young uh, doing junk journals and the likes and they seem to use these a lot. I know there's a couple of companies I've seen you know folk talking about using supplies from a variety of companies which clearly uh, kind of curate types of uh, stickers and stamps and the likes. Um, and I'm, I'm not being funny here, and I don't mean to be cheeky, right, but they clearly are just buying them off AliExpress. And I suppose it's quite handy when somebody's done it all for you and you don't really need to think too much about it. Um, but having said that, I quite like to organise my own stuff. Do you know what I mean? Buy, buy what I want. Uh, Although, again, I don't, I think you can buy a lot of these things as subscriptions. Um, and somebody, I was, there was one I watched the other day and she'd said that somebody had been thinking of starting doing, oh, I hate when you get this and can I open it? Somebody had been thinking of starting doing, you know, these kind of curated boxes of stamps and stickers and the likes. Uh, and she says this will maybe last you for the month and the person that received it who clearly junk journals or journals or whatever uh, quite a lot had said no I think you misjudged this this will probably last me about three months and I must admit that's one of these things that would worry me about uh, doing a, an order is I obviously I don't I don't journal anyway but I make journals but I wouldn't necessarily want to I've already filled my house with stuff. I really don't need to fill it with any more by uh, organising a, a box of stuff. 
Now I quite often, when I'm using these kind of vellum stickers or washi tapes or whatever, in fact I didn't get any washi tape out so I'm not going to be using any washi in this page while well. um, I quite often like to run over it with my, fold, my, my, my bone folder which is a bit of plastic right because I don't think, touch wood, I don't think anybody actually uses bone to do this anymore which is a good thing because we, we really don't need to be killing animals for uh, to be able to stick things together and decorate the book. Uh, I haven't made any pockets in this by the way but that doesn't mean to say that I won't have any. I just didn't think at the point when I'm going to try to figure out which way this is meant to go. Uh, I didn't think at the point when I was uh, putting this together that I'd have anything to put in little pockets but having said that I did have yesterday we had we had our dinner out so I've got a receipt that I can put in a pocket so I do have a wee pocket that I can use This actually showed up really quickly, I have to say, because um, I'm pretty sure I only ordered this last week. I don't, uh, I'd actually consciously decided that I wasn't going to buy anything else, um, and in the main I haven't. But let's be honest, the stuff on AliExpress is so cheap that that is the attraction, um, and we'd be lying if we said anything else. Well, no, I mean, that, that's that's maybe not true. That's that's maybe doing them a, a disservice. It is dirt cheap, right? But over and above the fact that it's dirt cheap, it's quite relevant to what we do. Um, and in that respect, it's it's good. Um, I die cut some shapes, circles and whatever, and then I embossed them. Then I went over it with this... Uh, Prima Marketing Opal Magic Wax just to give it a wee kind of sheen and it just makes it look a wee bit more interesting because I think at the end of the day we want to add a wee bit of interest to the book certainly that's that's where I start from when I'm thinking about decorating a book I haven't really looked out any lace of that. My right is really big by the way, so um, I have a feeling that if I start writing I'll cover everything up. Um what Another thing I did yesterday was I, you'll have seen in one of my previous journals, or previous journals that I made should I say, um, that I, one of my new things is this foiling uh, when you've used your laser printer. Um, so that's, I did this yesterday where I made some words that I was planning to use in this journal and one of the words that I had printed out was yesterday and then I foiled it using um, using my, what do you call it, my laminator. Right, I'm just going to put that on it to hold that down for a minute. Uh, I also made some long tags. I had planned in putting words on these but I'm not sure I will. I might just leave them as they are. That was a wee bit ragged. Uh, I could do a wee bit of stamp on that actually, because I think these, these wee stamps, are, these will fit it quite well. These are different colour ink. Should maybe have bought more of these, because they do hundreds of them obviously. Just interesting 
wee bits and bobs to add. Oh, I like that. That's nice. Quite like the brown on brown there. That's quite attractive. Right. Just press that down to make sure it's stuck. Should be okay. Now where am I going to put my wee pocket? I made a wee pocket uh, yesterday. In fact, I should maybe do a wee bit of stamping in that wee pocket. I don't think it's... See, it's going to be in the way if I put it there. I could actually put it on that Edith Holden page. But it will cover up my flower if I put it in that. What if I put it there? That could be quite a good spot for that, couldn't it? Actually, I think before I do that, I'll maybe do a wee bit of stamping on it as well. Uh, just to liven up a wee bit. Because you want it to look good, don't you? This is actually one of the buff, buff folders that I had bought uh, on eBay. And uh, I just cut it down and used it for some tags and then the wee bit that was left I thought I'll make a wee a wee pocket with it. Right so we'll stick that there and I can put my wee bits and bobs, my wee receipt and my wee tag in that. What I might do is I'll leave the top open just I don't see me having anything to fit in that as such. Where did what did I do with that block? Oh, put it back in the drawer. The block's quite good for holding down things to make sure they're definitely stuck. Right, while that's doing that I'll cut a wee bit of uh, my string. Do I really want pink? No, I don't think I do that actually. I'll take this wee kind of beige shade one and use that because the pink's a bit garish next to the rest on the page. And hold on while I knock up everything over because everything just sits on my desk. I really don't have any room for things. Which is why I want to use stuff up. Oh, did I tell you by the way? I don't think I did. I might have mentioned this in the past to one or two people. Um, I've actually started doing a bit of a de-stash on eBay where I'm selling stamps from companies that I know don't have an angel policy which will enable me to sell my products. Um, because I figured if I'm not getting anything from you, then you're not getting anything more from me, and you certainly won't be getting anything bought by me. Right, that can go in there. Uh, now I've got a wee, I think that might be too big. Oh no, it might fit. Uh, the place we went for our dinner last night was the Bill Hotel in Burnbank Road, because we live just down the foot of Burnbank Road. So it's not terribly far away. <laughs> Let's. Oh, Timmy. 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 You need to bear with me. That's the receipt, by the way. Uh, dinner for four came to 61.90. Which isn't too bad. We don't drink alcohol uh, when we're out. Um, actually, nobody else drinks alcohol apart from me. Gosh, I wonder why I drink. Right, bear with me a minute. I'm going to open that door to let Timmy run about in case he wants to. Right, so back door opened. Let's get back to the 
nitty gritty of the old junk junk nail. I'm sorry, junk junk nail. That's not stuck terribly well. Where's that block? It needs the weight to make sure it stays down. There we go. Yeah, it's just like a real journal. Right, let's actually start. I don't think there's much more I'll be adding apart from writing, and I'm not going to write an awful lot. which means that all you can hear is rattling and the likes outside and it doesn't take much to set off young to me. Right, I'm going to add a wee bit of lace at the bottom. Or am I? Oh no, start writing Moira, for goodness sake, write. Write and then we'll decorate if we need to. Right, so yesterday, what was yesterday's date? What was yesterday's date? Was it the 18th? Wait a minute. I think Friday's the 23rd, so 22nd would be Thursday, 21st would be Wednesday, no wait a minute, 23rd, 21st, Thursday, 20th would be Wednesday, and that can't possibly be right, what, ca what is the, ca hold on, I better go and look at a calendar, it would have helped if I'd brought this, organised this, wouldn't it? Right, so yesterday was the 18th. Oh, that's another thing that always makes me laugh. Everybody that uses a pen has a pen that they have a name for because invariably it's some sort of fancy Japanese pen. We are currently using the We Are Macmillan Cancer Support pen that we probably got free through the mail when we were donating ch to charity. So that's, that's the pen that's in my hand. Um, so anyway, 18th of August. What year is this? Is this 19... 1919? Uh, 19, 19. Is this uh, 2019? Yes, I think it is. Um, went to Edith's. That's my sister-in-law. Uh, as... Leah, that's her daughter, was from New Zealand. Uh, my niece, or my niece through marriage, uh, works in New Zealand uh, for the New Zealand government, I believe. Uh, she's really quite highly qualified um, in terms of she originally, I think, when she went, was doing some sort of research on uh, bees and the production of manuka honey. Uh, so it's that kind of thing, you know, it's just technical gear. Um, Son. Right, so on the way past, uh, if you follow me on Instagram, I put up a couple of pictures yesterday of places we drove past. Past the oldest pub in Glasgow. I think it's called the Old College Bar. Mm 
you want to see this place, you'd think they'd make more of an effort. I mean, if, it, if they were regarding the fact that it's the oldest, and they've got a sign up, a plaque up to say that, um, it's really pretty run down looking. Uh, so, you know, it's one thing to say you're the oldest bar, but when you still look exactly as you did in probably 1568 when you opened, <laughs> no, <laughs> wouldn't exactly encourage me in, put it like that. Uh, past the oldest pub in Glasgow, the old college bar, then Glasgow Cathedral. And the province lordship. Last year, um, Perio from Perio Blues uh, visited Scotland and we went to Glasgow Cathedral and it was the first time I'd ever been in Glasgow Cathedral so believe it or not at 57 years of age I went to Glasgow Cathedral for the first time. I've lived in Glasgow most of my life until I came out here to Hamilton. Uh, the Province Lordship is Glasgow's oldest house and it's right across the road from the cathedral and we visited that as well. There's nothing in it, I mean it's I mean, it's pretty spartan uh, but it's just it's an, an interesting wee touch of history. So we drove past those things yesterday and it reminded me of when Perio was over because that was really quite, that was good fun. It was something that was really quite different. Uh, I'd never met Perio before, it was the first time we'd ever seen each other um, and to be fair we'd only really had a couple of passing conversations on uh, both YouTube and as it turned out I think Instagram or Facebook but we got on really well um, and had quite a lot in common in, in many ways so it was really nice seeing Perio and I hope she comes back again sometime. Right so that was that so we'll move on to the next bit which was uh, went to the villa for Big Alec's birthday. Big Alec being my brother. He turned um, 73 last, I think it was last Wednesday, and I'll tell you, uh, for the 14 year age gap there is between him and I, he looks a lot better than I do. <laughs> he's faring a lot better. Um, he's quite healthy, has always been relatively healthy, although we both have blood pressure issues. Um, but he runs and has run for years. Um, you know, as a, a marathon runner and half marathons and whatever, and he's really quite fit relative to me. Whereas, you know, I, I really enjoy a good couch. That's my favourite thing. Went to the villa for Big Alex's birthday. Um, had the pakora and chicken chasley. As always, because I always have the same thing when I go there. The a new start. I think his name was Cameron. Cameron, just a really young boy. Uh, nice guy. Um, with a couple of, in fact I don't know if I've held on to these, I think I might have done in which case I'll put one of them in it. A couple of extra after eight. After eights are chocolate mints that are meant to be after dinner mints um, and they are the hoes, right that's that's a, a, a Scottish phrase, they are the hoes which means they're brilliant. Um, so I, anyway Douglas who is the man in charge of the villa, uh, well he's not in charge, he's not the owner but he's like kind of the manager, um, he took the payment at the end of the night 
and uh, we know him quite well because he's he's apparently worked there for 17 years and we've been going we reckon for at least 12 um, and he knows I really like after eights so I, I said last night when we were leaving you know I really wish I'd bought another birthday cake for us when we'd come home because we had birthday cake during the week but I wouldn't have objected to another bit of cake last night um, and he says oh here have a have a couple of half treats so I get an extra couple of half treats to come up the road with so I had them with a cup of tea when I get in I uh, had a couple of extra after eights and watched Shazam We went to see Ale young Alec and I, the boy, went to see Shazam in the pictures um, and it's really good, it, it's a good picture um, I, I really like I, I like things that folk will probably find really quite bizarre as well as doing the junk journals I'm into wrestling and I like comics uh, and I don't mean comics as in comedians I mean comics as in uh, you know what DC comics, Batman, Superman, things like that um, I like uh, Marvel comics, all these kind of things are, are things that I really quite like so I think that's really all I've got to say, so I'll decorate that wee bit at the bottom uh, so that it's not left completely bare. I'm just going to put this wee sticker down. Just to add a wee bit of decor to the bottom of the page since I don't have much more to say about that. Maybe put a wee... I'll need to do I, I, sh I should have had things dug out actually for doing this and I'm not really very well organised at all. But then, you know, are we surprised? We know what I'm like. Organisation is not my forte at all. I'm the world's worst. Although I'm, I'm, that's not true. I'm not the world's worst. I'm, I, I'm reasonably. I, I, I'm one of these folk that generally does try to make provision for things to have everything organised. But the problem is sometimes when you're doing this, you become over. Not so much over organised, but um, you just put so much aside to use that uh, you kind of make up your mind what you're doing with it and stick that there, a bit of thing there. Right, I need a wee something for a cross that bit, I've got a wee bit of music. Oh wait a minute, I've got wee stickers, I've oh, no stickers, I've got wee leaves and the likes. I could just, that's, I could put a wee leaf and a wee stamp. A wee, we like a wee stamp, don't we? Get my wee bag of stamps. Um, I, do you know what's funny? I, my wee bag of stamps is a wee bag of stamps I bought uh, on eBay, as you would expect, because I, I, I get everything either on eBay or on uh, AliExpress. And the wee bag of stamps, which I really love with a passion, um, I discovered there were a couple of Third Reich stamps among them. And I thought to myself, can I really put them in a journal? That's not really, that's not the done thing. We don't support the Nazis. Uh, I find, personally, I find, I, I, I don't, do not misinterpret this right. In no way do I think that Nazi Germany and their behaviour was acceptable, it was not. Um, I find that aspect of history really quite interesting in as far as I find it interesting that it could happen, that people um, found themselves capable of believing and accepting that behaviour. Uh, I, I just, it's, it blows my mind 
blows my mind because it's so important um, and I, I fear I watch many things that happen in the world I don't sit in a wee gilded cage where I don't know what's happening I watch the world I watch the news and I am so fearful of things that happen these days so so fearful uh, and I see many